today we are going to discuss uh, actually a little bit of a uh, revision on sequence and series but anyway it's going to be more than revision so I'm going to cover everything because it's a very small topic uh, and always <coughs> you will get about at least three four MCQs uh, in the second paper some years they have questions but not all the years about Every three years, you get a question, right? Okay. Uh, so, so I have shared the PDF, the short note. So it has only yes, it has only uh, three pages. I just wanted to make it very compact, right? Without adding a lot of things, I just wanted to extract the the most essential things only. Okay. Right. So when it comes to your syllabus. Uh, right, its topic is sequence and series. So the first half of the discussion we will be talking about sequences. Then we will move on to the series. Right, first we have to understand what is your topic is. Uh, it is sequence and series. Okay, uh, so the, those two concepts are highly related. That is what we are taking it together. But somewhat different also but highly related okay right so let's see what is mean by sequence and what is mean by a series right right sequence means right set of consecutive numbers with any specific pattern right if you can write set, uh, set of uh, uh, set of numbers with a pattern we call it sequence now this is not the first time you are learning some, this kind of a concept remember you have learned concept called set in your semester one and also semester two now this is different thing this is sequence right so again you have to compare those concepts this is sequence so what is the difference between set and sequence set is just collection of elements with two important properties that is duplicate is not allowed and order is not a important thing or if someone is talking about the order it is not a set but uh, the sequence is uh, of course in the, in a set there must there is no need to offer particular uh, uh, pattern right for example in a set it can be 5 comma 3 comma minus 1 comma right 4 whatever as long as it makes sense for some particular concept right but when it comes to sequence, there must be a pattern and also it's a sequence, right? Consecutively terms will come, right? So after, say after 1, if it is 5, it must be 5. So you can't uh, just say 1, 5 and same as 5, 1. No. So that is possible in sets. But in sequence, uh, you have to understand, okay, this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, likewise, uh, that pat uh, that order is also important right order is also important when it comes to sequence so what are the two things that that must come into your mind when someone talk about sequence uh, there must be a pattern right so so i will highlight that so there must be a pattern and it must be consecutive numbers that means they are interested about the order right? whether that term is the first one or second one or third one yes we are interested about that right so if, when we consider both then we are talking about a sequence, right? Another name for sequence is progressions, right? Progressions, right? So, but more in the exam also, uh, they use both the terms, right? So, if the exam paper refers to something called progression, they are referring to a sequence, right? Right. So, let's take some examples. Uh, so, the simplest example I can think of it, something like uh, 1, comma, right? 2 comma 3 comma etc we know that the next term is going to be 5 next one is 6 next one is 7 so as if you can keep on telling what is the next term what is the next term that is a sequence right uh, but if you can't tell what is the next term right if you can't or anyone can't tell that is not a sequence so that means you in no one can find a pattern right if the pattern can be found uh, it's a sequence if, if there is no pattern that is not a sequence okay right so first understand these concepts properly right so we will take another example uh, so i will 
it's the white port say something like this so it can be so many possibilities are there so many possibilities are there for example one two one two one two so that is also sequence right i know that the next one is going to be one next one is two next one is one next one is two right so likewise uh, right, so let's take another one uh, something like this 5 10 15 20 right so what is the next one it is going to be 25 right so again you can see a pattern right again you can see a pattern so let's take another one uh, something like this say 1 2 4 9 16 so what is next one so what is next number so next number is going to be 25 because there's a definite pattern here this is one squared i made a mistake so here this should not this is not really the case right so forget about this i made a mistake so this is two squared this is three squared this is four squared and this must be five squared Right. So likewise, it, as long as you can find a pattern, it is a sequence, right? It is a sequence, right? So let's take one more example, right? So let's take something like one, or let's say zero, one, two, three, five. 8 13 so what is the next number can someone tell me what is the next number in this if it is a sequence or is it not a sequence can someone tell me what is is it is it a sequence or not if it is sequence what is the if of course if it is sequence you must be able to tell the next one next one next one forever Can someone tell? No one can see the pattern. Right, so you can see when you add, so forget about the first one, when you add this one and this one, uh, you get the, this one. Right, 2 plus 1 is 3. Then 3 plus 2 is 5. Then 5 plus 3 is 8. Right? Uh, 8 plus 5 is 30. Then of course the next one is going to be 13 plus 8. Right? Uh, 21. Right? Then next one is going to be uh, 34. Likewise, I can keep running forever. So this is a sequence, right? So it can be any pattern, right? As long as there is a pattern, it's a sequence, right? So we 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 are not inter uh, we are not restricting saying that this, this the pattern must be like that no it can be any pattern as long as pattern is there it's a sequence right it's a sequence okay so that is something you have to understand uh, first right so let's move on so i hope you understand what is mean by sequence right right so you can see we are, i have highlighted this only prerequisite is having a pattern right only prerequisite is having a pattern uh, and of course it must be consecutive numbers right right now let's see what is mean by series right what is mean by series so as i told you sequence and series are highly related so that is why we are taking it together but the two two concepts right right so series means if you write a sequence right if you write a sequence as a summation we call it a series right a series is a summation, summation of consecutive numbers with any specific pattern. So if I just highlight this, uh, consecutive numbers with any specific pattern, I can just put what? Sequence, right? Sequence. So that means series is summation of sequence, right? Series is summation of uh, sequence, value of the sequence, right? Right. So you can see those are highly related concepts. Right, high related concepts. Uh, for example, if I have a sequence like this, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेट्रा देन द द रिलेवेंट सीरीज इज गोइंग टू बी वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस एक्सेट्रा सो दैट इज फ्रॉम एनी सीक्वेंस वी कैन क्रिएट अ सीरीज राइट सो एवरी सीक्वेंस हैज अ कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग सीरीज ओके राइट so that is very simple like thing right so nothing complicated right uh so let's move on right so the sequence we can look at it in two ways if you are going to sum them forever we call it infinite series right infinite series but if you are going to stop somewhere for example let's say you start something like 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 and you are going to stop that stop at this point of course then it is a it's called a finite series right because finite number of terms are there uh, and sometimes we call it a partial sum right so sometimes we call it a partial sum but if you are going to do this forever then it's a infinite series Right. In, that is a infinite series. So sequence also we can call it fa, uh, finite sequence. If you just stop it, of course it has to become separated. But if you are going for ever, then it's a infinite sequence. Right. So those are just terms. Right. So it's very simple concepts. Okay. Okay. Right. So let's move on. Right. Then there are some special sequence and series. So we are now taking together because these are related so if there is a sequence there is a corresponding series right uh, so if we, if if our sequence is having the same number repeating right so something like 5 5 5 5 4 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 or something like 0 0 0 0 so we call it constant sequence right constant sequence uh, the same value repeats Of course, there's a pattern, right? So that is the easiest pattern you can identify. You know that. Of course, if it is five, 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 next term is going to be five, next term is going to be five. So I can keep telling. So that means there's a pattern, right? That is the easiest pattern that anyone can understand. Uh, and anyway, we call that a constant sequence. Constant sequence. Just if I write it as summation, like five plus five plus five plus, then it's a constant series. constant series okay so there is a first special series or sequence that we want to understand uh, constant sequence or constant series okay right so let's move to another one uh, so that is called arithmetic sequence or corresponding series is called arithmetic series so what is arithmetic sequence or arithmetic series that is a sequence if, if i take a sequence a sequence with common difference Right. Sequence with common difference is called arithmetic sequence. So that means every if you take any two consecutive terms, the difference is the same. Right, difference is the same. Then we call it uh, com, uh, arithmetic sequence. If you take something like five comma ten comma fifteen comma twenty. Right now you can see here the common the difference is five. Here the difference is five. Here the difference is five. Now you can see it's a arithmetic sequence, right? Arithmetic sequence. So how to calculate the common difference? Always you so your d is right. Your d is a n minus a n minus one. So that means you have to subtract from the right side terms from right side term the immediate left side term. right so that is very important it is not that you just randomly subtract from this one no always from right side term from right side term subtract the uh, left side term so that is how in this case it is 5 if you have something like uh, 10 5 0 minus 5 so that is also arithmetic sequence but now the d is if you take something like this 5 minus 10 is minus 5 So zero minus five is minus five. Now d is minus five. So those things are very simple things, but we have to pay attention. Otherwise, we are going to end up with wrong answers, right? So it is not just 
the difference between two num uh, terms. No, it is a difference between two consecutive terms. From right term, you subtract the left term. Okay, right. So you have learned this particular se sequence and series in your O level, and of course we did that in semester one also. Uh, therefore, I am not going to repeat that. Right. So by looking at the pattern, uh, you can see that uh, the nth term can be written as a plus n minus one times d. Right. So if the first term is a, the next term is going to be a plus d. The next one is going to be a plus two d because uh, Another d must be added to that term. Likewise, a plus 3d, a plus 4d. Now you see the pattern again because this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term. You can see when it comes to third term, 2d. So when it comes to fourth term, 3d. Then of course, when it comes to nth term, it is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d. Right. So you don't have to memorize. Right. So even you can write it. Right. Of course, it will be in your mind. Right. That is fine. You don't have to forcefully memorize these things because once you look at the pattern, even you can uh, get it by yourself, right? So the nth term is for the arithmetic sequence a plus n minus 1 times d, right? a plus n minus 1 times d. So that is something you have to remember, right? Uh, and of course, you have done it in your whole level, right? So now let's see uh, how to, if I want to write it as a summation or just if, it, if you want to write it as a sequence, but still. You want to do a summation up to n, n terms, right? So that means something like if you have a 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Now, now, of course, you know how to write the next term 25, etc. using this. So, of course, a is 5. Right, a is 5 and d is in this case d is 10 minus 5 or 15 minus 10 which is also 5 in this case then we know that this is first term second term third term fourth term so i want the fifth term right of course you can just looking at the pattern and say 25 but if, if i use this uh, it will be uh, a5 which is in this case a is 5 plus n is 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 uh, into 5. So 5 into 4 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25. Right? So that is how you get it using the formula. Right? So likewise, right? Likewise, say you want to find uh, the summation of these uh, five terms. Right? Of course, you can keep summing, summing, right? 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 15 is 30, 30 plus 20 is uh, 50 and 50 plus 25 is 75 uh, but using this formula also you can get it so what is that formula uh, so you have to remember that uh, for arithmetic sequence uh, sn equal n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into d right so, so that is the formula actually i forget to mention here uh, there is a short form of this formula that is uh, sn equal n divided by 2 times a plus l right so i will add that also to the short note i forgot to add that right so that also you can use uh, that if you if you know the last term straight away you can use this formula otherwise uh, if you know the a and d and how, how many terms you want to add you can use this formula right so those are the uh, things uh, anyway i am not going to do the proof Right, so the proof is done in your semester one as well as in your O level. So, can you remember how to do, do the proof? Because they might put that question as a second paper question. Okay, so they may uh, add this as a second paper question because that proof you have done in your O level. Right, so can you remember how to do that? Right, in case they ask it in the question paper. Right, so how to do that? Let's see. I am not going to do the proof. I am just going to show the idea behind proof only. I hope you can. I don't know whether you can still remember this. Maybe not. So we can write it as something like. 
a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus likewise and this is your sn then again if you want you can write the, this as remember this n, n term is a plus n minus 1 times d so you can write it in the reverse way a plus n minus 1 times d then a plus n minus 2 times d likewise then you add those together right sorry you, you subtract together then the, the middle terms will vanish then of course you can uh, get it so i keep it as exercise how to get this formula right so because you never know in the exam they might ask this right so refer to the internet if you can't do it just take this as 1 take this as 2 just subtract 1 from 2 then middle terms will cancel out because there will be uh, a a plus a a plus d will be here and the, la, fa, the final term will be a and then middle terms will cancel out uh, and you will get it okay so I, I just keep it as exercise uh, because they might ask it in the exam right okay so i'm not going to do that so there, thereby you can get it and of course you can get it by just looking at the pattern you can get this by uh, doing that particular operation okay right then we have the geometric sequence so geometric sequence means a sequence with a common ratio right? sequence with common ratio is called geometric uh, sequence so earlier one is sequence with common difference right common ratio that means uh, something like this for example if you have two then four then 8, 16, etc. Right. Now you can see there's a common ratio. So how to find the uh, here how to find the common difference? You subtract from right side term, left side term. So here common difference, so common ratio, you have to divide from right side and divide it by the left side. Term. So here uh, 4 divided by 2. So for this one, 4 divided by 2, which is 2. If you take these two, 8 divided by 4, yes, that is again 2. If you take these two, 16 divided by 8, that is again 2. Now you can see there is a common ratio, therefore this is a this is a geometric sequence. Right? This is a geometric sequence. If you have a common ratio, yes, it's a geometric sequence. Right? So if you if you are asked to write a geometric sequence, how, how do we do? You just take a random number, right? Say five. Then you keep multiplied by that value. Right? Say it is uh, two. Then it is ten. And then it is twenty. And keep multiplying this by two. And then it is forty, etc. So now if I divide ten by five, you get two. Twenty by ten, you get two. Forty by ten, you get two. Right? So that that ratio can be even a negative number or fraction. Right? So it can be a negative number. It can be a fraction, right? So, for example, I can have something like this, uh, say 8, 4, 2, so I am multiplying it by half, right, 8 into half is 4, 4 into half is 2, so the next one is going to be 2 into half is 1, 1 into half is half, half into half is quarter, right, so this is also geometric sequence, why 4 divided by 8 is half. 2 divided by 4 is half, 1 divided by 2 is obviously half, half divided by is half, likewise, so it can be a fraction, it can be fraction, and it can even be a negative number, right, for example, uh, if I have something like this, um, say 5, now keep multiplying by 2, minus 2, then minus 10, minus 10 multiplied by minus 2, plus 20, plus 20 minus by multiplied by minus 2 minus 40 so this is also a geometric sequence right so i am keep multiplying the term by minus 2 now right so now if you do the find the common ratio minus 10 divided by 5 uh, minus 2 20 divided by minus 10 minus 2 minus 40 divided by 20 minus 2 so likewise now you can see it's a geometric uh, sequence so how to form geometric sequence you have 
pick a value you keep multiplied by that value then of course when you divide the consecutive terms you are going to get that, that as the common ratio right so that common ratio can be positive negative or even fraction right so that is the case for even uh, arithmetic sequence also that common difference can be negative positive fraction positive fraction negative fraction anything okay Right. So you have to be very very serious about these things. Of course your syllabus is very simple. Only thing is you have to look at it in a very serious way. This is not all level paper. right? So this is a degree level paper. Just the same thing is there. But you have to look at it in a uh, higher uh, way. Right? So you are a degree level student. Right? Right. So, so any questions up to now? So because uh, this is not going to be a very long session. So uh, so we are going to stop it very quickly so that means we are going to finish the entire thing maybe within uh, less than two hours okay so any questions up to now because at the end of the sessions you must have no question or you should have raised those things in the this session right so don't go out and say i attended this session uh, and i have hundreds of questions uh, and i didn't get anything so if you didn't get anything you have to tell here no, I didn't get anything yet, right? So that is fine. Then I will explain it again, right? So any questions up to now? So you must know what is the difference between sequence and series. What is mean by sequence? What is mean by series? Then uh, two or three special series we discuss constant sequence and series, and uh, arithmetic sequence and series, geometric sequence and series. Of course, for geometric sequence and series, uh, if you look at the pattern. A term, A R, A R squared, likewise A R cubic, A R fourth, uh, right? So you can see again there's a pattern. Right? So this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term. You can see third term A R squared, first term A R. So likewise the fourth term is going, going to be A R cube. Uh, therefore we know that the nth term is going to be A R n minus one because fourth term is A R cube, third term is A R two. That means the tenth term is A R nine. 20th term is AR19. Likewise, the nth term is ARN minus 1. So again, you don't have to memorize this, right? Of course, it will be there in your mind. But as long as you understand the pattern, it's naturally it is in, in your mind, not unnaturally, right? So there are th places where you have to memorize things. Right? There are places that you have to memorize things. There are places you can you don't have to memorize. You can just naturally it will be there, right? Naturally it will be there. So maths is something you don't have to memorize much uh, naturally things will be in your mind right so there are subjects you have to memorize right so this is not subject you have to memorize of course this one you have to memorize because uh, it's it's a very complicated pattern and you get it from uh, doing some some uh, serious calculations you get it right so this one you don't have to memorize you can any anytime you can write it of course this one you have to memorize right so that is summation formula uh, so Sn equal a times 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. Right? If that can be even written like this also, that is uh, a times r n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So same thing because we know that uh, 1 minus r n if I write r n minus 1, you are multiplied by minus 1 here, multiplied by minus 1 here. So it's not going to be changed. So both are the same. So both are the actually not the correct. Both are the same, right? So either you can remember it like this, or you can remember it like this, right? So because this is pretty much the same, right? So that of course you have to uh, memorize. Okay, S n equal a to the power one minus r n divided by one minus r, right? Again, you can prove we can prove this, right? Uh, so better to refer to the internet and see whether how to prove this because anyway, if I am going to make your Past uh, paper next time, I am going to add one of these two as uh, your second paper question, right? Because you have done this in your level, right? Uh, you are keep on using these formulas. It's, if, if a student has a curiosity, he must check whether how to prove this because you never expect anything for granted in maths, right? Either it has to be proved or it has to be very, very common sense, right? Because this is not common sense, so therefore someone has to prove it or you must be able to prove by yourself. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to do questions on that, right? So anyway, let's take just one if you want. So for example, if I have two, four, 
8, 16. Now, of course, if they ask what is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th term, of course, you know that is 32. But now remember, let's use this one a equal to r in this case r equal also 2, right? Then uh, a5 equal a is 2, 2 and 2 to the power n minus 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, right? So we know that it is 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 5 is 32, right? 2 to the power 5 is 32, right? So similarly, if I want sum up to say 5 terms, so I can use this one now, uh, Sn equal this one, uh, so again a equal 2, 1 minus r is 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, right, divided by 1 minus 2, right, so you simplify this, you will get the answer and check whether that answer is same as when when the answer you get, right, so those things you must be able to do because you are in semester 3, but anyway, I am explaining these things again, why I am doing these small, small things again, there is nothing much to left uh, to cover, right, so, Otherwise, I am not going to do these things, right, in a revision session. Okay. Right. So, let's move on. Right. So, before moving to this convergence and divergence, I just want to explain a small thing, right. Uh, anyway, it is part of your calculus, but I will explain that and come back to this. Okay. Uh, anyway, you have done this in your semester 1. But I just want to re refresh that. So we know that uh, when it comes to mathematics, we can subdivide mathematics into different areas. Right? So I, till I did this in your semester one, the very first day uh, when we start maths. Right? So I think. I did this, yes, obviously. Whenever I start maths to any batch, I start with this. So, so when you say maths, so remember we start with what is maths. So, a lot of students, even the students who have done A level maths, they don't know what is maths, right? Uh, so, can, by the way, you are you have all attended for a math session, right? Sure. Right? So, you have all attended for a math session. Uh, so, can someone tell me what is maths? So now, now you can see all of a sudden it's dead, dead silent. Why? So can someone tell me you have all attended for a math session. Can someone tell me what is maths? So I challenge someone to tell me what is maths. If you can't tell it, you can type it into the chat. So I, I will give you one minute. Right? If you can't, if you don't have an answer, right, don't go anywhere and tell I have learned maths. Right? Now you, are, you can see you are in a very uh, embarrassing situation, right? So you go there, say I have done maths in O level, right? A level or some people, right? From grade one, I have done maths, and you go and someone that person will ask him, what is maths? What is maths? So if you can't answer, don't go anywhere and say, I know maths. I have done maths. So someone respond. So that is why we say our education system is a failure, not a failure total failure right so that is why i keep on saying don't go to your obas OB, right all boys association all girls association not yanne power lo hari mama nan kiyanne ogol iskola gini tiyanno ona hari iskola gini tiyanno ona kiyala kiyanne me me wage aparadayak karata hari avurudu 10 ak 12 ak maths ganala eliyata dana what is maths kawam uttarayak nahi hari eliyata what is science kawam uttarayak nahi hari so, can someone tell? 
because it's no point keep on learning, right? If you don't have an answer to what is maths. So anyone has that guts to tell what is maths? Right, a discipline for arranging numbers. I can't see the other one. And logic. Okay, so that is fairly okay, right? But if you can elaborate it, good, right? Uh, numbers. So the, the answer has two terms: numbers, logic. So I like that. Uh, anyway, I like that answer. So, so you can see math. So what the answer says is uh, the answer that I got is it's arranging or uh, working with numbers. Right, numbers and logic. Obviously, right? So, whenever we say maths, you are talking about numbers. Whenever we say uh, maths, we are talking about logic. Right? So, so just a moment ago, we saw that uh, if there is pattern, yes, it's a sequence. So, that pattern has to be identified using a logic. Right? So, uh, anyway, so that is a fairly good answer. So it involves numbers, it involves logic, right? It involves numbers, it involves logic. So anyway, I will accept that answer as a very good one because it has the, the key things, key things, right? But if you want a little bit elaborate, right? A little bit elaborate, uh, so we can we can add few more things, right? We can add few more things to this one, right? So these are the two key ingredients are there. So I'm very happy with that answer. Two key ingredients are there, but I can add few more. Uh, ju just to make it a little bit uh, complete, right? So, so we are going to discuss about numbers. Of course, it is going to be a logic. Then uh, we are going to discuss about the space, shapes, right? Shapes, right? And then things like rate of change, right? Rate of change. Right. So if I keep on adding few more, right? Numbers, logic, space, shape, rate of change, right? So when I accumulate these things, that is maths. That is maths. Okay. Right. So these two are the key key ingredients. But I like to add few more things because if I just say numbers and logic, I can't explain uh, geometry, right? In order to explain geometry, geometry is also part of maths. That is all about space and shape, right? Uh, and also now you are learning uh, calculus, right? So you, we start, we, we uh, almost completed the differentiation. So that is something to do with rate of change, etc. Right? Quantities. So another term I will, I, I, I won't highlight is quantities. Quantities. So first learn what is maths, ah? then you you get that confidence, right? So so this when we have the quantity, that is a better term. Why? Of course, quantities can be expressed using numbers, but this when we say quantities, for example, vector, vector has a magnitude, so magnitude is a quantity, right? You can see, uh, so that is maths, right? So if you go to something like, uh, so that that must be taught in your O level actually, right? Not in your grade one because we can't start. Defining what is math in your uh, grade one or Montessori, but at the end of your all level, you must have that confidence. Okay, so if I say what is math, or oh, let's go, go to the math Wikipedia for mathematics. So, first thing they do is they define because without knowing what is math, no point learning math. So you can see mathematics, it's a term from Greek meaning knowledge, study or learning includes the study of such topics as quantity, right? So that is related to number theory, structures, right? So that is what, uh, what I mean shapes and uh, space, uh, shapes and uh, space, right? Structures means that, right? Uh, structure, space, right? change right so that is uh, calculus right so all those things when we co connect together we call it maths and of course uh, it's something to do with identifying patterns logic right so that is all about maths okay right so 
so so that is the important things right so once you are look at maths like that your sequence and series subject is going to be very simple topic right your uh, uh, matrix subject is going to be very simple topic your calculus subject is going to be very simple topic your statistics subject is going to be very simple topic right only thing is you have to first understand what are those things right okay then uh, so when it comes to maths so i'm just going to delete this so it's very important you understand about numbers because because as we know it's all about numbers shapes space etc when it comes to quantities we want to quanti represent those quantities these numbers so there are different type of numbers right so so this is what so, something we have done in your semester 1 right so simple set of numbers are called natural numbers 1 2 3 etc because sequence and series are something to do with numbers you are must, you must be very confident about numbers okay so that is called natural numbers capital n right capital n that is a symbol we use uh, so natural numbers don't have negative numbers so zero right uh, because natural numbers means basically 1 2 3 etc and only whole numbers then we have something called integers right something called integers sometimes we use i right Uh, so the integers means not only these positive whole numbers you can take the zero also now and of course we take the minus values so so minor whole numbers also right so then we call it integers right so sometimes we use is it most of the time we use is it right uh, integers right so natural number so if you can see integers has more numbers than natural numbers Uh, then we have another concept uh, related to maths that is real numbers right real numbers so real number means uh, it include the decimals and fractions as well right so it, it include the whole now uh, integers as well as decimals and fractions for example uh, 2 is a real number of course right 2 and 1/2 is a real number because it's a fraction uh, 2.74 is also a real number right uh, 0 is a real number right minus 2 is a real number minus 1/2 is a real number minus 3.3 is a real number now we can see real numbers include almost all the numbers that we discuss or we use in real world so that is why they call it real numbers okay right so then we can again subdivide these real numbers right so these real numbers in two what are those two because the sequence and series is all about numbers playing with numbers right so you must be very confident about numbers so these numbers we can subdivide into uh, so these real numbers we can subdivide into two can someone tell me what are those two types so i like you to answer either talk or you can just put it into the chat because this is going to be very interactive session because it's a revision i have done all these things so what are the two type of real numbers you know can someone say can someone tell me what are the two type of real numbers so it's all about building your confidence right so you must start from that can someone tell me what are the two type of real numbers hari me maths paper ekata maths paper ekak karana kiyana baya nathi wenno number gena thiyena baya nathi wenno number gena thiyena baya nathi wenwa number gena hondata idea ekak thiyena mehema number thiyena mehema number thiyena oka danna samara minisunda thiyena me phobia ekak hari number phobia kiyala ekata kiyanne eko numbers walata baya ai ana samara kara pottanna baya ai ehemi usa usa time walata baya ai ani samara usa time walakin yana kota baya ai samara podi kara pott ekak wage sat ekata baya ai hari ඒ වගේ සමහර උන්ට මේ නම්බර වලට බය. නම්බර වලට බය වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒක දැන් මේ නම්බර දිහා යා සීරියස්ලි බලලා නැහැ. මෙහෙම නම්බර තියෙනවා මෙහෙම නම්බර තියෙනවා මෙහෙම නම්බර තියෙනවා කියලා ඔයා සීරියස්ලි බලලා බස් මොකද වෙන්නේ? නම්බර වලට තියෙන බය නැති වෙනවා. නම්බර වලට තියෙන බය නැති කරගන්න නැතිවට මැත්ස් වලට තියෙන බය නැති කරගන්න බෑ. හරි? ඒ කියන්නේ මැත්ස් කියන්නේ බය වෙන්න ඕන දෙයක් නෙමෙයි නේ. ඔයගොල්ලෝ දන්නවනේ. මේ පොඩි කැර පොත් එක්ක කියන්නේ බය වෙන්න ඕන දෙයක් නෙමෙයි. අපිට අප්‍රසන්න ගතියක් තියෙන්න පුළුවන්. නමුත් බය වෙන්න හේතුව නැහැ. නමුත් සමහරු කැර පොතෙන් දැක්කම දුවනවා. හරි? මැත්ස් දැක්කම දුවන කට්ටියත් එහෙම තමයි. 
rational numbers right rational numbers so that is very good and irrational numbers so that confidence we need right thank you ඔබලා දන්නවා ලංකාවේ උපාධිධාරීන්ට තියෙන එකම confidence එක තමයි බහුතරයට ලිප්ටන් වටරාම වලට ගිහිල්ලා අපිට පිනට කකා ඉන්න job එකක් දියව කියන්න ඔච්චර තමයි ඉන්න board එකක් උස්සගෙන interview එකට යන්න බෑ හරි ඒවා බෑ හරි කාල කන්නේ ජීවිත it's a i can write it as 5 divided by 1 so it's a rational number right if i take 0.5 uh, i can write it as 1 divided by 2 yes it's a rational number right if i take something like 0.25 uh, of course i can write it as 1 divided by 4 therefore 0.25 is a real number yes it's a rational number right it's a rational number uh, so that is called rational number right rational number but there are some numbers which you can't write it as a division of integers right division of integers then we call it a irrational number right so can someone tell me some irrational numbers you are aware of right so put it into the chat if you can't talk some irrational numbers you know at least you you must aware of two very famous irrational numbers are there can someone tell me Okay, zero point three 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 one divided by three. So which one is your answer? Whether it's the first one or second one? Because I, you have two answers. You have oh, both the irrational numbers. Two and two divided by seven. Ah, okay. So she said both. So so that is very good, right? So okay, I I will take the first answer, right? Point three 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 and one divided by three. So I ask which one is your answer? Then then said. Both are the answers. So let's take the answer, right? So first one says zero point three three three. So second answer says one divided by three. I ask which one is your answer, and the answer uh, I, what I got is both are the answers, right? So what I am requesting is irrational numbers, right? Irrational numbers. So what is the definition of irrational number? Number which you can't write it as division of integers. Number which you cannot written uh, cannot write as uh, division of integers. Now look at this number. This number itself is a division of integers, right? So one is an integer, three is an integer. So I am asking irrational number. Uh, I am getting an answer as one divided by three. So rational number is a number that you can write it as a division of integers. So this is a division of integers, right? So if it is division of integer, you can't say this is a You can't say this is a rational number. This is a rational number, right? So, so can do you now accept that your answer is wrong, right? One divided by three, right? So your answer is wrong. So that is anyway. So don't take don't take it as a bad thing, right? So you are here to learn, right? You are here to learn. So this is a this is a rational number. This is a rational number, right? Now the the other person also know that her answer is also wrong. Right, because the set, another answer I got is what, 22 divided by 7. Right, so obviously 22 integer, 7 integer, 22 by 7 is by by definition rational number. So now you can see there are some gaps in your mind. Right, so you think you feel like you have learned these things, but still somehow uh, you have not got the correct concept. Right, so. So, by definition, rational number means number you can write it as n by m, 
both n and m are integers. So obviously this is a rational number. Obviously this is a rational number. So the so irrational numbers means numbers you can't write like this, right? Numbers you can't write like this. Now now I'm going giving you one more minute. Can you tell me a example for a irrational number? Can you give me an example for irrational number? So the, the answers I got is not correct. Actually, 0.33 is also what? So 0.33 is it, it will go like forever, right? That is also 1 divided by 3. That is also 1 divided by 3. Therefore, 0.33333 is also not a uh, irrational number. Uh, that is also a rational number, right? That is also a rational number because th that you can write it as one divided by three. Right. Okay. Now I am getting the answers. Right. Now I am getting the answers. So, so yes. Now answers are correct. Now all these answers are correct. So, so you know a lot of irrational numbers, right? So only thing is when I say give me rational number, you are giving me 1 divided by 3, 22 divided by 7. So someone has told you that, that 22 divided by 7 is irrational number. Right? But, but just when you're looking at the definition, it's by rational number, right? So yes. So the two most popular irrational numbers are right, two most popular irrational numbers are phi and e. Right, 5 and E. So I just want to erase this. Right. So two most popular irrational numbers are 5 and E. Right. So those two numbers you can't represent them as division of integers. Right. E also no way. Right. So so 5 has a speci specific number. Right. Uh, Actually, you can't say specific number because you, you 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 don't know exactly what is the number is, but it's a concept. E also the same. E also the same. So what is this? Then 22 by 7. 22 by 7 is just an approximation to 5. Right? 22 by 7 is not 5. So 22 by 7 is just an approximation to 5. Therefore, 22 by 7 is not 5. Uh, 22 by 7 is an approximate rational number uh, to this irrational number. Right, this irrational number. Uh, there are so many other fractions also which is more closer to the 5 than 22 by 7. Right? So, but 22 by 7, no, that number is not 5. Those are just numbers closer to the 5. 5 is irrational number, therefore I can't write it like this. Right? I can't write it like this. Uh, right? So if you want to find 5, 5 wiki. Right, phi is something like 3.14159 it, it keeps going keeps going right it keeps going uh, so again 5 is not 3.14159 it keeps so it keeps going you can see 3.14159265358979 blah 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 and there is no pattern at all it keeps going forever right so therefore uh, this number is a irrational number and of course you can't write this number as a uh, division of integers, right? So, right? so you go through these wiki pages and look at those things in a serious way, right? So you can see, being a irrational number, five cannot be expressed as a common fraction, right? Although fractions such as 22 by 7 are commonly used to approximate it. Now you can see, 22 by 7 is not five. 22 by 7 is approximation of five, right? Uh, right, so there are better approximations also. Right? There are better approximations also. So let's see some more approximations. Right, you can see approximate value, right? So to, to so these are some more approximations. So this number is even more approximate to five than the twenty-two by seven. This one. This one. Likewise, uh, there are so many numbers uh, which are approximate to 5 than your 22 by 7. 
So what happens in, in your school? Right? What happens in your school? They taught, your teacher taught you that 5 is 22 by 7. Right? You can see 22 by 7, 333 by 106, 355 by 113. Right? So you were taught that 5 is 22 by 7. Right? You were never told that uh, 5 uh, 22 by 7 is a closer value to 5. Right. So, so that is the difference between rational numbers and irrational numbers. Right. Calculus will be done. Right. Then we number of the number of the number of the number of number of the number of the number of the number of the So this is my numbers. I can have the whole numbers. Right, sorry, natural numbers. Then we have the integers. Right, he said this is natural numbers. So all the natural numbers are also integers. Then we have the uh, rational numbers. Let's call it uh, Q and irrational numbers. We call it Q dash. Right, so numbers like 5. E comes here right so numbers like 1 2 comes here numbers like minus 1 right minus 4 comes here and of course 1 2 3 and of course 0 is also here because 0 is not natural number 0 is integer right so this is integers then uh, I can add few more numbers like 0 0.5 3 by 2 uh, now uh, that is rational numbers right then rational numbers and irrational numbers together we can call it real numbers right so rather than because any number is either real number or so, sorry rational number or irrational number when it comes to real numbers right when it comes to real numbers so i can better arrange this also now something like this right so i can write numbers like this so this is numbers i can subdivide it to two Right, one is called imaginary numbers, imaginary numbers, other one is called real numbers, so I can call it complex numbers, right, complex numbers and real numbers, right, real numbers I can subdivide into two, <coughs> right? real numbers I can subdivide into two, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Right. So this is real numbers, uh, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Uh, other than real numbers, we have something called com complex numbers, which we have not covered in your syllabus. Those who have done A-level maths, they know what is this complex numbers. And also the sub part of complex numbers is called uh, imaginary numbers. Right. So if you are interested about those things, you can just go to the internet, YouTube and learn. Right. So here in the real number part, we have the rational and irrational. In the rational part, you have the integers. Under integers, you have the natural numbers, right? So the 5e, e, uh, even root 2, so those things are in the irrational part. So those things you can't represent as division of uh, integers, okay? So that is how you look at numbers, right? Instead numbers, you can buy it. 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 Until the mathematical liver, I number of the 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 number of Right. 
so it's not that i am smart it's just that i stay with the problems longer and samal ta hari kalaba lai problem ekak diya balla hari hari mata den ekak therunna ekak isara adana ne wala tam thela ne samal lawata tha poddak kalpana karanna tha poddak oya problem ekak thinno ne onna wata therena hari onna wata attarama therena hari poddak wata therena hitan inna oba therla kiyala namuth attarama therla ne hari theriche ekak gaps thiyena tha hari e gaps adu karaganna it was wata therai yes i have understood right I, that means you can go there anywhere and discuss that with anyone else right discuss that with anyone else that means you have the confidence okay right so now i am coming back to here right so i am going to discuss that again a uh, little bit more right then now you know what is what are the different type of numbers then you must have the concept of right so another two very important concepts the concept of zero concept of infinity right so concept of zero concept of infinity so we need the, those two concepts to understand the rest of your topics right so what is mean by zero can someone tell me what is the meaning of zero what is the meaning of zero so i need quick answers either chat right so don't worry that your answers are wrong right so you are here to learn right if you are make me so then at least you know that uh, i had that issue right i i have a uh, better understanding others will keep those issues forever can someone tell me what is mean by zero right zero means zero is used to represent nothing right nothing that means some, nothing is there so when when i say i have no money i can say i have zero money right i have zero money i have zero uh, apple phones that means i don't have any apple phone right nothing so how to represent nothing zero right so then of course you must know if you add nothing to something uh, that is the same thing right if you multiply something by nothing what you get is nothing likewise you have to understand what is mean by zero what is mean by zero right and of course if you add zero with to sub zero it is going to be zero because still it is nothing right if you subtract something uh, nothing from something uh, that is going to be the same thing right so likewise you have to understand zero right so i hope you can understand zero right you can understand but look at those things in a serious way Right. Look at those things in a uh, serious way. Right? Then you have to understand uh, what is mean by uh, infinity. Right? What is mean by infinity? So what is mean by infinity? So I am not going to cover these things when we are doing calculus again. Right? So can someone tell me what is mean by infinity? Just put it into the chat because that is what we are going to discuss now under convergence, divergence. So if you can't explain infinity, don't start talking about in convergence, divergence, calculus, etc. Right. So this is the starting point. Right. Understanding these concepts. Right. Because these are special numbers. Right. So what is infinity? Yes, infinity means very large. Right. So so this is nothing. Infinity means very large. very large or very big that's it so if someone asks what is infinity infinity means very large that's it so someone will ask how large i can't tell you it's very 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 large right so therefore i can't tell how large but i know that it's very large that's it okay so the concept is represented by uh, the symbol uh, like this right so it can be very large in positive way it can be very large in negative way also right so then we say it's a positive infinity uh, this we can say negative infinity right so when we say i have lot of money how much of money i don't even know i know that is very very huge amount of money so that means uh, it's plus infinity another person will say uh, i have i have I, i have taken so many loans right i have i i don't know how much i have took right Uh, that means i am a huge uh, sort of a debtor right 
So how large? I even don't know. It can be even billions of money. I, I have to give, give, give back to these people. That means you have minus infinity. Minus infinity. Right? So if for example, our debt, national debt, right? Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka's national debt is something like this. Right? So even government don't know how much we have to pay back. Right? So that so even the government don't know how much we have to pay. Uh, it's something like minus infinity. Right? Minus infinity, right? Right. So, so infinity means very large, right? Very large. So we represent that concept using uh, this particular symbol. Okay. Right. Right. So now we can get back to our topic again. Convergence and divergence. Right. So what is mean by sequence? So a sequence can be either convergent or it can be divergent. So if you take a sequence, that sequence must be either convergent or it must be divergent. Right? So convergent sequence means its infinite term is finite value. Right? So how do you say define what is mean by convergent? The infinite term must be either finite value or it limits to a finite value. Right? So you can see these divisions are very precise right so if a sequence has the has a fi in, infinite term which is a finite value or limit to a finite so when i say limit reach to a finite value we say that it's a convergent sequence convergent sequence you can say the infinite term a infinity must be a finite value like l or it limits to a finite value right either it's a finite value itself or it limit to a finite value then we say it's a convergent sequence, right? So let's take some examples. So don't talk, think those as big things, right? So those are very simple things, right? One called maths alien, big look at under a beginning and naked. Boma insert a subject and maths can. Right, so, so let's take an example, right? So whenever you are given a definition, you have to ask, give me example, right? Right, so let's take something like this. Uh, 5, 5, 5, 5. Now, do you accept that this is a sequence? If I can tell the next one, next one, next one, next one, it's a sequence. Of course, next one is going to be 5, next one is going to be 5. Then what is going to be the infinite term? Infinite term means what? You go, with, you go keep moving, right? First term, second term, third term, fourth term, hundredth term, millionth term, billion term now we can see billion is very large right 10 billion trillion term right why can they make a trillion trillion term make right? trillion at the trillion number again trillion and then we start and start and start maybe an acre first term second term third term fourth term obviously hundred term is five thousand term is five million term is five now it's very large right infinite term is what five right? so that is you can think right because it's always five I thought they very large number again. Mama Dana very large cohetti in the American for series here over five, right? So that is therefore this is convergent sequence. Why infinite term is a finite value in this case, that finite value is what five, five is a finite value, right? So therefore, a sequence like this is a uh, convergent sequence, right? So usually this will happen only for the constant sequence, the finite value are getting one sequence. Constant sequence, or with regular constant sequence, special sequence, like that. Right? Constant sequence, like one, 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 two, 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 minus one, minus one, minus one. So likewise, so those terms, terms are, for example, two minus two minus two minus two minus two. Then we know that a infinity is uh, minus two. So the here infinity means the trillionth term. Right? Likewise, a very large term. Right? Very large term in the sense. 1, 2, 3, when you move like this, right? So that I hope you can understand. So usually you get some uh, convergent sequence under this definition only if that sequence is a, a constant sequence, right? Constant sequence, right? So let, let's move on. Uh, what about this? A sequence can be a convergent under this second part of the, uh, or the second definition as well. For example, if you take something like this, Right, so we'll take an example. Something like this. 
हाफ टू बाई थ्री थ्री बाय फोर फोर बाय फाइव फाइव बाय सिक्स राइट नाउ यू शुड हैव यू मस्ट सी द पैटर्न नाउ दिस वन आई कैन राइट इट लाइक वन बाय वन नो सो सो लेट्स से वन वन हाफ टू बाय थ्री थ्री बाय फोर फोर बाय फाइव फाइव बाय सिक्स नाउ कैन यू से व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू राइट बाय लुकिंग एट द पैटर्न राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टर्म सेकंड टर्म third term fourth term fifth term when i say sixth term right when i say sixth term 6 six divided by 5 then when i say seventh term it's going to be 7 divided by 6 likewise nth term right nth term uh, n divide n minus 1 divided by n right n minus 1 divided by because sixth term is 5 by 6 Seventh term is six by seven. That means nth term is n minus one divided by n. Right? You can write it forever. Now, what about this? Now you know that first term is one, second term is half, right? Third term is two by three. Third, fourth term is three by four, four by five. Now, what is the infinite term? A infinity, right? You can't say exactly what is A infinity, but by looking at the pattern, you can see. Half two by three is more closer to bigger than half. Three by four is bigger than three by two. Four by five is bigger than this. Likewise, you will have after some time ninety nine divided by hundred, right? Uh, when you could keep on moving nine hundred and ninety nine divided by thousand. Now what you can see, we are getting closer and closer to the one, right? Because this is one thousand away from one, right? So this is one hundred away from right twice. We are now getting close and close to the one. Now you can see the pattern. This is closer to the one than this one. This is closer to the one than this one. This is closer to the one than this one, right? This is closer to the one than the previous one, and of course this is closer to the one than these things. We are getting close and close and close and closer to the one that anyone can see it, right? So anyone can see it, right? So therefore we can see that when. So how do you write it? Limit. When n ten to infinity, now you can see n ki ne kada value na. Har tuna tiuna, har tar tiuna, pa har tiuna, hai tiuna. Ani anu na me tiuna, namusi anu na me tiuna. Har lakshe tiuna, million ne tiuna. Kya ne nanante lang me ti. N ne ata n da ne ka kya ne ka n ne lang me na kya kada. But bina me a ekar langai, me a ita tar ekar langai, thavat ekar langai. So its value is one. So now we can just use the equal mark. Right? Samanya pe asan na ekeli ani ho mane. अरे वो हम लिया नहीं ना मतलब अभी लिमिट किया रहे हैं तो तीन हाँ तो अभी सामान है किला दिया सामान है किला दिया मतलब इतने किया रहते हैं ना पिलांगे ना किया अरे एक अंदर भी आसान ना शेंग किला किया ना सो दैट इज दे आर फॉर वी कैन से दैट लिमिट व्हेन एन इज रीचिंग टू इनफिनिटी एन डिवाइडेड This is also a uh, convergent sequence, right? This is also a convergent sequence. So obviously, uh, this is a convergent sequence. Why? Uh, so we, you have the second part of the definition. So this one is also convergent. This one is also convergent, right? So let's take another example. Uh, something like. Something like one by one, one by two, one by three, one by four. Right. So what is this? Is it a convergent sequence? Now after sometimes it will be one by ten, one by hundred. Right. Now you can see this is more closer to zero. Right. Uh, this is even more closer to zero. This is even more closer to zero. This is even more closer to zero. This is even more closer to. क्योंकि एक कहीं सी ए का पार्ट हम बे में तो ना दाहे का काम बे सी ए तब वाट हम तावड़ी का क्या लगे हम वाट लक्षिंग का काम बे लक्षिंग का क्या नोट की ताकत ना बे इतना पड़ी ही नहीं है इतना इतना पड़ी ही क्या लगा ना तब मुकुट नया अंतिम में मुकुट नया थी � तूने का काम बेना, तो फिर खाला काम बेना, बोल दा, अनि ठीक है, अनि तो ऐड बेतना, आप ही तो मुझे आठ मिलियन या मिनिस्ट्री आवेल आई ना मैं टोपी ए कांड, वो याद है मैं के मिलियन ये डे मैं टोपी ए बेतली वाला, 
ඔයාලට මේ මිලියන එක කොටසක් ඔයාලට දෙන්න ඕනේ ඔයාලට ටොපි කොට කෑල්ල කියලා. දැන් ඔයාලට මොකද්ද හම්බෙලා තියෙන්නේ? ඕල්මෝස්ට් නතින්. නේද? ඕල් ඔයාලගේ මට එපා කියලා ඇත්තට. මට මේ ටොපියෙන් මිලියන එකක් නැත්නම් මට ඕනේ නැහැ කියලා. හැබැයි ටොපියෙන් භාගයක් හා කියයි. ටොපියෙම හා කියයි. හැබැයි ආ කියයි ටොපියෙන් මිලියන එකක් නැත්නම් මට එපා කියයි. අයියේ මේක නිකන් නතින් නේ. මේක මුකුත් නැහැ නේ. So we can say that limit when n tend to infinity 1 over n is reach into zero reach into zero since we are using the limit uh, notation we can just say equal right and now by definition that is also convergent sequence therefore we can say this sequence is also convergent why its infinite term is reach into zero right if it reach into a value also it's convergent right if it is definitely that value it is convergent if it is reach into a particular value it is convergent right so therefore yes this sequence is also convergent sequence right so likewise there are sequence sometimes you can say exactly yes the infinite term is this one sometimes you can by looking at the pattern say okay this is getting closer and closer to this particular value so therefore i can say this is also convergent right so i hope you get it right so it's all about un- getting those concepts to your mind right so it's a mathematical concept right and it's perfectly valid concept right perfectly valid concept that is why we have concept, uh, mathematical branch called calculus right because uh, that is perfectly valid logic right so then if a sequence is not convergent we say that that sequence is divergent right so how to define a divergent sequence if a sequence is infinite term is a finite value or limit or reach to a finite value convergence if the if a sequence is not convergence we say divergent right if a sequence is not convergent then it is said to be divergent sequence now now let's see what are the possibilities of divergent sequence of course if it is not convergent it is divergent right uh, so what are there are three possibilities uh, that a sequence can be divergent right so what are those three possibilities the infinite term is a plus infinity or infinite term is minus infinity or it's that sequence is oscillatory so those are the three uh, scenarios where a sequence can be uh, divergent of course if a sequence is not convergent divergent but we can if you analyze it there are these three scenarios where a sequence can be divergent right so let's do some ex- take some examples if you take something like this 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma etc now what is the, the a infinity so this is a1 a1 a2 etc a3 so what is the infinite term of course you can see that the next one is 4 next one is 5 it's getting bigger and bigger the millionth term is million billion term is billion trillion term is trillion likewise you can see very big means what infinity so the a infinity is going to be plus infinity so therefore it is a divergent because it's not reaching or it is the, the value is not reaching to a finite value it is infinite value it is reaching to infinite value therefore it is not convergent it is divergent remember it has it has to reach to a finite value or it has to be a finite value to be uh, convergent so when i say finite value i can say exactly what the value is so right uh, but if it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger that is not a finite value okay so that is definitely this is a Uh, divergent sequence right if you take something like uh, something like minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 right minus 20 so that what is going to be the uh, infinite term obviously minus infinity because it getting bigger and bigger but in negative side and after the lanka and i have like here getting bigger and bigger but negative side right so this is going to be after uh, when when we go to the forever it's going to be minus infinity therefore this is also divergent sequence this is also divergent sequence because it's a minus infinity so infinite term is reaching to minus infinity right so so this is also uh, so likewise you you must be able to understand what is a convert uh, what what are the possibilities of divergent sequence now we are moving to the third possibility of a divergent sequence uh, that is oscillatory sequences are also divergent right for example if you take Uh, sequence like this plus 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus 5 okay. plus 5 minus 5 now what is the infinite term so maybe 
the maybe the so you can see these are out numbers one three five these are out numbers when the term is odd it is plus five when the term is even right two four right like six now if i ask what is the millionth term can someone tell me make a million what in a term with a value a so someone respond to the chat or tell me someone tell me million term make a value a so let's see right so i'm getting the answer as five correct the million term is five right so if i ask what is the value of 99999 term what is the value of 99999 term so can someone respond what is the value of 99999 term right. so yes it's going to be minus 5 now you know that because 999 is odd number therefore it's going to be minus 5 million is an even number and therefore it's plus 5 but now i'm going to ask what is the value of infinite term what is the value of infinite term right we know that infinity means very large but how large we never know it's very large therefore can we can can we say whether infinity is a odd or even no we can't say because it is not relevant because infinity is a concept when it is a concept you can't say whether it's odd or even because when I, if i someone say this is infinity i will ask can't you go little bit beyond can't you add one more to that infinity yes then that is infinity can i add some more yes then that is infinity. therefore you can't say what is the value of infinity infinity is uh, very large therefore you can't say whether infinity is odd or even therefore infinite terms it can be plus 5 or it can be minus 5 we can't say for sure we can't say for sure so these kind of sequences are called oscillatory sequences now you can say all of a sudden uh, if this is the sequence right so it is not comply with this definition to give a uh, say as a convergent because it is not a value i can't say i can't say the exact value also because in that case i have to say 5 or minus 5 so that is not accepted in maths right 5 or minus 5 therefore uh, it is not convergent uh, it is this is also going to be what divergent sequence right so if it is plus infinity divergent minus infinity divergent oscillatory again divergent okay so that is how you understand uh, sequences convergence versus divergence okay right so i have given you some examples right right now we are going to discuss some elementary properties of limits these are not related to sequences related to uh, calculus right so anyway we have discussed this in under calculus also uh, right so let's see what are those concepts so if you have a sequence where the same value is repeating so don't worry about these things these are just terms right notations right as as math because in mathematics we want to define things in a very precise way right uh, right so now you can see a n is a constant sequence so a n is a constant sequence means the same value repeat if it is k we are going to keep on getting k k k k etc or if it is something like 5 we are going to keep getting 5 5 5 etc okay right then assume that x n is a normal convergence sequence so i have forgotten to underline this assume that x n is a convergence sequence y n is also a convergence sequence and therefore it's con those are convergence sequence assume that the infinite term of xn sequence is l1 uh, infinite term of yn is l2 or at least either the value is l2 or value is reached into l2 that is why we say xn and yn are convergence sequence and assume that c is a finite constant when i say finite constant it is not infinity it can be something like 5 or minus 5 or half or whatever okay right then these limits exist right uh, if xn is reach into l1 then c times xn is going to reach to c times l1 obvious right so that is common sense uh, if xn is going to uh, when n is getting bigger and bigger if xn is reach into some particular value uh, that is a finite value then that c xn means that you have multiplied by c 
right? So that is common set. Then uh, if you have xn plus yn, it is going to be L1 plus L2. Xn minus yn, L1 minus L2, right? L2. Xn into yn, L1 into L2, right? Likewise, Xn divided by yn is L1 divided by L2. So we can use these things, right? Uh, because those are all common sense, no one is going to prove those things. If you if you are not still sure, again think about it, right? Of course, if you can't sure, you can ask me again, right? Uh, right. So after sometimes uh, it must be you must feel like yes, uh, those are all correct. And Un until you feel yourself that these are correct, you have to think, keep on thinking, keep on thinking, keep on thinking. Uh, then after sometimes you will feel like okay i have in th thought about enough examples of all those examples this is correct therefore this is this then as a general concept this is going to be correct right this is going to be correct right uh, for example i will just take one example only uh, you know that limit right limit n tend to infinity when n is bigger and bigger 1 over n is what 0 because 1 over infinity is 0 right so 1 over infinity because remember 1 over 1 1 over 2 1 over 3 1 over 100 now we can see it's getting close and closer to 0 right therefore this is correct right so you can accept it pure logic right and now look at the next one limit n tend to infinity n divided by n plus 1 so we did that also we saw that it is getting closer and closer to the 1 right uh, 5 divided by 6 99 divided by 100 it's getting closer and closer to the 100 right it is getting closer and closer sorry 1 right now this is your l1 value this is l2 value now what someone asks you what is this limit n reach into infinity 1 over n plus n over n plus 1 what is this value right so what does uh, so it's something uh, like uh, now now you know that 1 over n is going to reach to 0 n over n plus 1 is going to reach to 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 right so that is exactly this rule says you can write it as you can write this as So you can write this as limit n tend to infinity 1 over n plus limit n tend to infinity n over n plus 1. Right? We know that this is 0. We know that this is 1. Therefore, 0 plus 1 is 1. So you can separate this out into two limits right? because it makes sense. So that is exactly what this rule is talking and this is exactly what uh, this tool is talking so you can separate it out you can separate it out uh, right so this is basically limit n tend to infinity xn plus limit n tend to infinity yn right so l1 is this one so you can separate it out so subtraction by multiplication division so you take some examples and see yourself okay see yourself right then the pro uh, properties of infinity so as i told you infinity means very large value Right, very large value, very big value, right? So if k is a finite value, if I add finite value to infinity, that is going to be infinity, right? So that makes a lot of sense, right? If I multiply infinity by assume that k is a positive value, finite value, again we are going to get the infinity, right? Uh, now when I say infinity, it's, it is positive infinity, okay? Uh, if k is a negative value, negative finite value like minus 5 or whatever, now the result is going to be negative infinity. Why? Uh, when you multiply a number by a negative value, it is going to be a negative value, right? So that is, therefore, it is not now the plus infinity. If k is negative, it is going to be a negative infinity, right? Minus infinity, right? If you add infinity to infinity, because infinity means very, very large number. So the result is going to be again what? Infinity, right? Infinity can be concept of the 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 concept of the
so the very good thing is if you go to the uh, Mathis fun site, right? Mathis fun site, I have given you the links, right? So that is where you learn things in a fun way, right? Hold what a barakar again, a kala kanya again to Mathis fun. So math is actually fun, math is very easy, right? So actually if someone asks which subject I like to teach someone more, I am not going to say programming or IT or whatever, I will say I like to teach maths, right? So that is my favorite subject, right? Uh, but lot of people hate maths in Sri Lanka, uh, the demand is for IT, not for maths, right? right you can Right? It's not big, it's huge. Right? Big Kirita Nepal, very huge Kirita. Right? It's not tremendously large. It's not extremely right? uh, enormous. It's endlessly large. Right? It's endlessly large. Right? So it's very, very, very large. Right? So how large? Endlessly large. Right? So that is how you understand uh, infinity. So it's something like concept. Right? It's a concept actually. Right? So you can see the properties of uh, uh, infinity, right? So you can go through these things at your own time, right? So the best thing is uh, you think it like a concept, right? So if something like, for example, like, why you know, why you have to do you have to do you have to do something? You have to do something. You have to do have to do something. You have to do something. You have to do so that is also infinity, right? That is also infinity, right? That is also infinity, right? So because it's a very huge number, when you add something, it is still going to be infinity, right? It is still going to be infinity. So it's a concept, right? It is it is a concept, right? So it is not a number. It is a number, yes, but it's a conceptual number. Okay, right. So therefore, when you add infinity to infinity, it is going to be infinity. Right. When you multiply infinity by infinity, again it's going to be infinity. Right. Because very large number multiplied by very large number is going to be infinity. But if one of those infinity is a negative infinity, when you multiply, what you are going to get is a negative infinity. Because positive number multiplied by negative number is going to be a negative number, and still is going to be very large. Right. For example, if you now, you, if you if you are not sure, you can just take example, right? So, for example, you take very large number. Let's say assume that this is a very large number. You multiply it by a very large negative number. Let's say this. Now, what you get is again very large number one zero 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 zero. But because plus value positive value multiplied by negative value, you can see it's a very large positive number multiplied by very large negative number, what I am going to get is a very large negative number. So therefore answer is negative. Similarly, if both are very large negative numbers, what I am going to get is very large positive number. So likewise you can see, right? So it's concept, right? So you can have magic name again. Okay, so similarly, if you divide a value by infinity, it is going to be zero. Right, so that is also common sense. That is also common sense. So that means one over infinity is getting closer and closer to what? This is getting closer and closer to zero. So therefore, we can say. Actually, rather than saying like this, the better way of writing this is what? Right? Limit as n tend to infinity 1 over n equals 0. 1 over n equals 0. So that is fine. So limits are always here. No, right? Limits are always here. Limits are always here. Don't love this kind of Why? This is common sense. That's all proof around there. Pattern is belong there. Oh, make an Indian zero to my name, right? Right. Right. So then, some important limits that you have to remember. So the subject is I'm connecting to the uh, calculus also, right? The calculus will come in there. So obviously, we discussed this, right? They can make my right? 
when n is 10 to infinity 1 over n is 0 similarly 1 over n squared 1 over n cubic oy one ekak dakka mari kiyana pula mokadda n ananth eda yanawada bindu wala amena eka eka so that is common sense right 1 over 2 squared 1 over 3 squared 1 over 4 squared 1 over 10 squared so 1 over 10 squared means 1 over 100 is getting closer to 0 this is more closer to 0 than this one this is more closer to 0 than this one right so likewise then of course we discuss this one when n tend to infinity n over n plus 1 is also getting closer and closer to 1 right so 1 over 2 2 over 3 3 over 4 right 99 over 100 is getting closer to 1 now right uh, 999 over 1000 uh, now you can see by looking at the pattern you will see okay yes that is correct right so meeting mathe tiya ganna ona hari put me ko aata denna me ekata ma denna me hari ge right aata to max problem ekak aama aata pula me bayana to me limits paavich ganna pula me ekak kat kata paadan karan denna okka me aata hari wage olwe thiyena ona mokka nikam olwe denna hari nikam olwe denna mokka me logic logic kata paadan karan ne right then there's another one limit n tend to infinity r to the power n is also going to be infinity as long as r is 1 so that is again if you think about it you will see that okay that is correct right for example let's say but r has to be more than 1 right for example if i take r as uh, 10 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 3 now r now n is getting bigger 10 to the power 900 now you can see it's getting bigger and bigger. 10, 100, 1000 is a very huge number. Now you can see when n tend to infinity, what is going to happen? This is going to reach infinity. Right? This is going to reach. It, this is getting bigger and bigger. We say when things are getting bigger and bigger, uh, we say it's infinity. Right? So that is a lot of sense, common sense. Uh, when you see something like that, you can say that okay, that is infinity. Right? That is infinity. Right? Perfect sense. Right. Next, if that value is a fraction negative or positive fraction that means fraction means not the whole part right that is between minus 1 and plus 1 then this is going to reach to 0 now previously it is going to reach to infinity when it is more than 1 or oh, actually I had forgot to mention this here if it is less than 1 it is going to be what minus infinity right minus, I will I will up, update the short note for that also if it is greater than 1, plus infinity. If it is less than 1, minus infinity. Because it is a very big uh, negative number. But if it is between minus 1 and plus 1, uh, what is going to happen? It is going to reach to 0. Now let us take an example. I have 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 an example. Bagi to me. I make any bagi a hattering eka hatting eka. I don't know the saying eka. What a pin of hattering they make bagi to vada hattering a bindu at langa. I call it a vada hatting kalanga. The saying it is the king eka. In in within the kakalagia, the fancy other hang eka. They see a igdas is the other ring eka, kiki and igdas is the other ring again. So it's getting closer and closer to what? Zero. Now we can see when r is greater than 1 plus infinity r is less than minus 1 minus infinity when r is between minus 1 and plus 1 it is getting close and closer to 0 right so those are very important limits right so limits are always the unknown and the calculus question can be right so i may go well out of calculus to pick up that line and i don't know right well we are the hitter number one look up at us yeah we are the hitter you can take a exam again of that come on now subject to the target मानुसे किधर वाले में वह हितान्न पुलवा ताकि मोले वह है उसको में कैपेसिटी के दिन हो ये कैपेसिटी पाव ही चिकरा में मानुसे किधर ना रे अपराधे नेता है तमाम के मानुसे को मारने हैं सो डोंट थिंक दैट यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस थिंग सारे वह कल्पना करना वह हितान्न बनना कौन बेटा बेटा के लिए limits uh, that you it's better to remember that is when n tend to infinity a to the power 1 no n is going to be 1 then meva hitane eken oyaga hiti me hakiya wedi karanne ekata mai karanne mokada oya danna ne oya soft engineer ekene kulut thema oyata denawada me mehema limits ganan denawada nae ne oyata limits ganan denna oyata denne wakari system ekak develop karanne kiyala e system ekak develop karana kota oyata ekeka prashna athi wenawa 
So, email. Right. Now you can see I have got two emails here. So, so error, error, error. Right. Uh, so, so while developing his project so he has got an error now while doing some his task right so you can see uh, so she, he has given me a lot of uh, screenshots right so when i change the code according to the tutorial right uh, so this i got this error i got this error now i can't proceed with this Right. So he is trying to upload the image to a website. Right. So if I got a current on it, upload current in a monarchy project, the image of upload current, you know, we use it. So now he is trying to implement this function in this project. Now he has got an error. Now he can't figure it out what is the issue is. Now he's, he sent me a mail. Then he gave me a call. Then I asked him to give me some more information. Right. Some more information. Uh, so therefore he whatsapp me few more screenshots right he whatsapp me few more screenshots then we together uh, start analyzing this issue right analyzing this issue i did some uh, google search he is also doing google search I'm going to the forums now we have somehow solved this right otherwise he can't proceed with his project right he can't proceed with his project with that error of course he otherwise he has to uh, skip that functionality of course, he can proceed with the project, but he has to skip that function, right? But as humans, right, we don't want to, we don't want to get out of challenges, right? So we want to face challenges, we want to overcome challenges, right? So therefore, so I asked him to send him me some few more screenshots, right? So which he sent, right? Uh, so likewise, we want to solve that problem, right? So now you can see it is not sequence or series or whatever, right? But we want to fix that issue. If you have a monarch, you can see that 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 you can see you can see that 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 you can see you all make a kalpana galabana, Mukadmi, egg, a cat in a kayaki and you can. Now, the necromber. Egg a cat in a termic cabinet. A is a positive real number. A is a positive real number, constant. Then it says the nth root when n is going to be infinity is going to be close and closer to one. Therefore, we can say it's one. Right? So, you can just take example. Say a is uh, 10, 10 to the power. One half, then ten, one third, ten, one fourth. You keep moving like this. So do you know what is this value? Make kiya ya. Tu naidashu kana ne. Tu ngara tu naam ya. Hathara rakhadar daas. Make three point gana ke. Make three point gana ke. Ina da make. Sankhya wa tum paara kadi karam dahai no. E mona sankhya wa. Dekho tum paara kadi karo. Devara dekha thare hathara dekha thai. Tu ne tum paara kadi karo. Tu ngara tu naam ya. Naamara tu nisi ka. Ina ko dekha hi tu naidar sankhya wa. Make dekha hi dashu magana ke. Right? You know, I don't make the high, the high hat. You can sanka, Hatharpara, Pedicara, me sanka, made the high no. You got to deca in the bed, they were at the Hatra, the Rada, the Gata, the Dasset. Ekagato, take a kai, Koraki, Kai, Koraki, a kai, okay, Kai dashamgana keno. Ekai dashamgana keno. Then Pena Tuna dashamgana, the Kai dashamgana, Kai dashamgana, 
x to the power 1, x to the power y, 0.5, that is uh, 3.16 value, right? Then 10 x to the power y, 0.001. Now we can see it's 1.00 value. Now again 10 x to the power 1. Now I'm, I, I want to increase the n, right? I want to increase the n because this is 1 no n that means very small 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 or something right okay they can't in again they can't in can a body sankhya then we graduate here now we can see it's even closer to 1 it's even closer to 1 likewise when n is getting bigger and bigger what will happen uh, your value is going to be closer and closer to 1 therefore as a limit we can say when n tend to infinity a to the power 1 no n is 1 so you can think what am I pattern to pay now, right? Then of course in a maths paper or in questions, if you see something like this, you can just substitute one and proceed. Right? So same thing apply for n to the power of one no n also, right? So you can use these things, right? Uh, and of course you can examine your nokratya. Yeah, capacity value now in concept the value of it over the mayor may j query winning erega kama, jawling erega kama bayane, ra bayane, proceed karma. And then go to students, even of them, but error messages, even a go lang ER, even a good final year can thank you interactive. So, so they are key points sending me. So, these are different different project students, right? So, they are key points sending me the ER diagrams, right? Some errors. So, this is their product demonstrations, right? So, likewise, sometimes they encounter problems, then they can proceed, proceed, karam, ego, even of them, mommy, function, at ever I care. So that is how it works, right? But whenever you see a issue, what happens is those who don't have that thinking capacity and analytic capacity, they struck. students 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 capacity uh, thinking power, right? Thinking power, right? So don't think uh, maths as a bad subject, right? So it, that is to improve your prop, uh, uh, improve your capacity, right? The way I came to the laptop, I three I five I seven I capacity ready. capacity ready. Hanta maya avila din me semester three two world samaru semester one ni hena capacity ke improve in capacity, we have to do the degree. We have to do degree. We have to do attitude. We have to do the attitude. We have to do the attitude. We have attitude. We have to do the 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 the Okay, so now we are moving to the uh, next concept, right? Uh, the concept still we are in sequences, okay? Uh, so this is very easy part actually. The concept of mono, monotonic sequence, right? Uh, and of course we have the strictly monotonic. Uh, and eventually monotonic etc right monotonic means ekka wage monotonic and mon, mono kiyanne one 
ওগুলো জানি কার্বন ডাই অক্সাইড মিন CO2 কার্বন মোনোক্সাইড মিন CO তো মোনো মিনস 1 1 টনিক 1 টনিক মিনস 1 টন এক টন একাই মে আগে তিন টন মারু ইন নাই হরি সো মোনোটনিক ইনক্রিজিং মিনস দ্য টার্মস আর গেটিং কিপ অন ইনক্রিজিং রাইট ইনক্রিজিং অর দ্য সেম রাইট ইউ ক্যান সি ইনক্রিজ সেম ইনক্রিজ 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 সেম ইনক্রিজ ইনক্রিজ সো ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ সিকোয়েন্স লাইক দ্যাট it either increase or you get the same value as your left value nothing else then we say it's a monotonic increase in sequence so how to write it in a mathematical way a n plus 1 is greater than or equal to a n for all n for all n right so you we did this uh, notation in your uh, logic right in semester 2 so it's very straightforward right then monotonic decreasing means your n plus 1 term is always less than or equal to a n for all n that means it's either getting lesser or same lesser or same but it can't go up right mehema avilla ay ude yanna baya ude giyoth monotonic neme monotonic decreasing neme right okay so those are very straightforward things then we have something called strictly monotonic increase strictly monotonic increase means now the equal mark is also not there your a n plus 1 term must be always greater than a n term So always greater than. Next one is bigger, bigger. Keep on getting bigger and bigger. Then of course we say it's monotonic. Sorry, strictly monotonic increasing. Strictly monotonic increasing. There is no chance of getting the same value also. Similarly, uh, we have strictly monotonic decreasing. That means it's keep on getting reduced, right? Smaller and smaller, uh, right? But not even same value. Not even same value. Then we say it's a strictly monotonic. Uh, decreasing one and then we have concept called eventually monotonic increase right eventually monotonic increase means at first it can it cannot be monotonic may not be monotonic that means goes up goes down etc but after some value after some point it keep on getting increase on so therefore it is not always monotonic but eventually right? eventually you can have the antimata matha avasane me me hasirin padanna right so this is after eighth term it is monotonic increase therefore this is not monotonic increase but eventually monotonic increase of course the, we can have a variation of this called eventually strictly monotonic increase in that means the possibility of equal marks is also not there right so but i have not mentioned because it getting longer so abhi liye nidhi bala ganna a n plus 1 term is greater than or equal to a n not for all n for n which is greater than n not so that for particular n not value afterwards only it is going to behave like this but before that it might go up and down okay next one uh, in a uh, eventually monotonic decrease that means after n not value it's going to keep on decreasing or the same right so something like this you can see it's getting up and down here but after this time it is keep on getting decrease or the same value same value or decrease right same value means previous value okay same as the previous value. right so i hope you can understand so othani wara concepts wala uda danne hari mukak ka gihin dikana badu wenawa kiyanne mukak gihin dile badu wenawa kiyanne mukakda hari hari logol danna me dawasala katha ganna corona rogin gan lankawe corona rogin sankhya mata kiyanna na mona oy oy warga walin koy ekakda lankawe corona rogin ge ekathuwa mata kiyanna na mewayin mona warga ekak thiyenne e gana e dawase apita corona rogin sankhya wenawa day 1 wala day 2 wala day 3 wala day 4 wala kiyala enawa corona rogin sankhyawa mul rogin sankhyawa what kind of a uh, sequence is that if you just look at look at it as sequence card again pula the total number of corona patients in sri lanka what kind of a if you take it as a sequence but i am talking about the total right what kind of a sequence is that So that is a uh, check whether you can think. Can someone respond? If you go statistical, what are you doing? Statistical, what are you doing? So that that is what monotonic increase in sequence, right? Monotonic increase in because every day another set of people add, or sometimes no nothing is added. Then same value will remain there, right? Same value will remain there. Uh, otherwise. it is keep on adding right it is keep on adding because i am talking about the cumulative total right so likewise you have to understand so this is another concept uh, bounded sequences right bounded sequences bounded sequence means 
that value of the sequence is never going to above a particular value. It might go up and down, but it is never going to uh, go beyond that value. Then we say it's a bounded above sequence, right? Bounded above sequence, right? Similarly, if the value is never going to below a particular value, then we say it is bounded below, right? Then we say it's bounded below sequence, right? Now we can combine these concepts to define what is mean by convergence again, right? So that is, if a sequence is in, uh, monotonic increasing or at least eventually monotonic increasing and bounded above, that means it is convergent, right? That is convergent, right? So because we know that it can't go beyond this line, it can't go beyond this line, but it has to be increasing. Therefore, it has to keep on reaching this line, but it is never going to cross that. It is never going to cross that. Uh, then we know that exactly yes this is a uh, monotonic increasing sorry this is a uh, this is going to be a uh, convergent sequence so we found that kind of a sequence right so remember half 2 by 3 3 by 4 right 4 by 5 and you can see it is getting closer and closer to the one right closer and closer to the one but it never going to uh, go beyond one because after some time 99 divided by 100 still more closer to 1, right? 999 divided by 1000. Now we can see it's getting closer and closer to the 1, but it's never going to cross 1, right? So therefore, obviously, you can see this is a convergent sequence. So what has to happen? It must be keep on increasing, but it, it is bounded above. It is not never going to uh, cross that line, right? So that is one possibility of convergent sequence, right? One possibility of convergent sequence. It must be monotonic increasing and bounded above. So what is the next possibility of convergent sequence? That is bounded below and right, bounded below and uh, monotonic decreasing or eventually monotonic decreasing. Then also it is going to be what? It is going to be uh, reached to this particular value, reach to this or limit to this particular value again convergent. Right? So you can see convergent sequence now we can uh, define in two ways monotonic increasing or eventually monotonic increasing or strictly monotonic increasing and bounded above or monotonic decreasing and bounded below both are going to be uh, convergent sequences right? convergent sequences right if not divergent sequence right? divergent sequence that means either it is uh, it's something like this either it is keep on increasing forever then it is going to be plus infinity or keep on decreasing forever that is minus infinity you know that there's third possibility that is possibility something like this then we know exactly what is the value it can be this or this therefore we call it divergent in that case so now you can see same thing now you can define it in a more formal mathematical terms as well okay right so, so that is very important when it comes to sequences now we have another rule in sequences which is called squeeze rule or sometimes we call it sandwich rule also so sand, sandwich rule or squeeze rule says is so we assume that there are three sequences a n b n and c n where for all n value c n is always between a n and b n right for all n which is either greater than n not or for all values right we assume that after sometimes this is going to be the happen that is c n is value is always between a n and b n in that case if a n is limit to a particular value and b n is also limit to a particular value say l then of course c n is also going to put a limit to the partic that particular value itself so that is called squeeze rule squeeze rule right what i take no na hari i can oya manusya kinna metana लांग स्क्रीज़ 
ඔයා ඉන්න ඕන මේ දෙන්නට මැදත් කියලා. ඒ කියන්නේ CN is between AN and BN for N greater than N. මේ මැද දිවයි හැම තිස්සේ මේ දෙන්නගේ වැලි විදිහට මැදින්නේ. එහෙනම් මේ දෙන්නම ළං වෙන්නේ එක වැලි විදිහකට නම් ඔයාත් ළං වෙන්න ඕන මොකද? ඔයාව ස්ක්වීස් වෙලා ඒ වැලි විදිහට යන්න ඕන. හැබැයි මේ දෙන්න ළං වෙන්න වැලි විදිහකට නම් අහම වෙන්න ඕන නැහැ. ඒ කියන්නේ මෙයා ළං වෙනවා මේ වැලි විදිහකට, මෙයා ළං වෙනවා මෙහෙම වැලි විදිහකට. එහෙම නම් අපිට ඕක හරියන්නේ නැහැ. හැබැයි දෙන්නම එකතර ළං වෙනවා නා එක තැනකට ළං වෙනවා නා ඔයාව ස්ක්වීස් වෙලා ඒකට ළං වෙනවා. මොකද මේ කන්ඩිෂන් එක සැටිස් වෙන්න ඕන. රයිට්? සෝ දැට් ඉස් කෝල්ඩ් the squeeze theorem or sandwich theorem again you can see common sense right common sense right right so that is how you understand sequences right sequences so let's do some questions uh, related to sequences before moving to series okay before moving to series because series is nothing you can see series uh, we have only few uh, things right what when sequence i go up series so ring chut tak series ring go up tak kala thi ne अभी सीक्वेंस क्वेश्चंस देखा तो ना करो पास वेट क्वेश्चंस दिया राइट राइट सो लेट्स टेक सम पास वेट क्वेश्चंस इफ इट इज रिलेटेड टू सीक्वेंस ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू डू ऑफ सीरीज क्वेश्चंस राइट सो दिस इज अ सीक्वेंस क्वेश्चन व्हाट पेन एंड सीरीज क्वेश्चन है नहीं मेकेला हरेक फ्री मंगने नहीं है राइट सो लेट्स टेक दिस वन 2019 पेपर क्वेश्चन 9 राइट क्वेश्चन මෙතන කිව්ව ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එකෙන් පිට යන්නේ නැහැ. මොකද එතකොට හරි ඔයාලට එක්සෑම් එකට ගිහලා වෙන ඩෙෆිනිෂන් වලට යන්න දෙන්නේ. What is a sequence? Right? Right? It's a consecutive numbers with any specific pattern. Right? So if it is a sequence you have to find the pattern. Right? So what if they are check is can you see the pattern? හරි ඔයාලට උදව්වට එකක් දීලා තියෙනවා. හරි එහෙම දෙන්න ඕන කමක් නැහැ. ඔයාලට මෙහෙම දීලා pattern එක අහන්න තියෙනවා. එකම පොඩි උදව්වක් කරලා තියෙනවා. මේක pattern එක මෙහෙමලු. ඔයා පුළුවන් නම් මේක pattern එක ඔයා ගන්න. प्रोसेसिंग a lot of processing you have to do and find the patterns actually you know that in computer science uh, there are two branches right conventional programming and ai ai now what you have done in your syllabus is in your programming one conventional programming right so what do you have another set of programming called artificial intelligence programming that is all about uh, finding patterns etc find the patterns work with fuzzy logic fuzzy logic right neural networks so it's all about patterns you can see it, that is advanced concept why finding patterns need lot of processing it needs lot of processing and it's very difficult thing only intelligent people can find patterns computer is a dumb machine it can do only process and and gates or gates etc therefore conventionally computers are very bad at finding patterns and of course humans are really good at it right so anyway you don't have the ai programming so if you are really interested go to the youtube and start how to do some ai programming you need lot of statistic also so that is why you have statistic because using statistic we can identify patterns right you can identify. so that is one way there are so many other ways to identify patterns so now this question check whether you can you have that ability of course if you have that ability you, that means you have the potential to do ai programming right So before ask computer to find patterns, first you must be able to see the patterns. Then only you can program to identify the patterns, right? So you can see why these subjects are very important, right? If you want to be a serious software developer, like AI programming and stuff like that, of course, uh, first learn these things and try to build that uh, skill of identifying patterns. Then of course, AI programming is all about finding patterns, right? Writing programs to find patterns. Right, writing programs to find patterns. Right, so those are the advanced things. Right. Okay. So see, now this one I am not going to find the pattern. It should 
spend time time spend some time of course you will find the pattern right but because this is exam i will go in the other way called reverse engineering because i have the answers i will double check whether this pattern is correct or not that's what that's it i'm going to do because it's exam you are working with uh, uh, struggling with time right so let's therefore do, do it in the uh, other way right so let's see whether this is correct for this one i will just take one value this is n equal 1 n equal 2 n equal 3 n equal 4 now let's put n equal 1 1 plus 1 is 2 into 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 that is 3 but the first term must be 10 not 3 therefore this is wrong right so let's take second one i am just taking just one again n equal 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 2 is 3 uh, divided by 2 this is 3 so this is 10 Uh, wrong. Right? So what about this? One plus three is four. One plus four is five divided by two. That means two into two, five into two is ten. This is correct. But just because this is correct, I can't take it as the answer. Uh, just check for another one or two randomly at least. Right? So this is one, two, three. Let's see whether the third term is also correct. Three uh, plus three is six. Three plus four is seven divided by two. This is three. Seven into three is twenty-one. Correct. It looks like correct, but if you have time, check the other two also. Likewise, again, do for this. Do for this, right? So I think these two are also not answers. You can you have double check. Uh, so the answer will be ninth one C. Yes, ninth one C. So you have double check these two also, right? So rather than you find in the pattern, it's always when the answers are given, you, it's easier for you to double check the patterns. That is called reverse engineering, right? Reverse engineering. Okay, so that is the answer for that. Right? You can see it's nothing big, right? So just whether can you see pattern? So can you see? Can you verify a pattern? Right? Can you verify? This is actually verifying a pattern. Right. That is question nine. Uh, I think in sequences only that question we can do in 2019 because other one is I think series. Let's see. Uh, question seventeen. Ah uh, no, it's also sequence. It's also sequence. Actually, this question someone asked in the WhatsApp group, right? Uh, and I gave you some hints, right? So if this now remember, it's all about finding the pattern, right? And this is what we are going to do. Pattern, you can find pattern. Pattern, you can see now. Now, after another one, what is the other one? Pattern, you can see now. Divergent. Pattern, you can see now. So here, pattern, you can find now. Value, you can find now. Actually, pattern, you can see now. Sequence, you can see now. ए पैटर्न ने कटाना वैल्यू वेरा लंग में ना डाइवर्जन वैल्यू वेरा लंग में नेक्टा यही में ही दुआ ना ना डाइवर्ज सॉरी पैटर्न वैल्यू वेरा लंग में ना ना खाली इसका वैल्यू वेरा ना कन्वर्जन वैल्यू वेरा लंग में नेक्टा एक को एक लोकु इन्हें ने वैल्यू वेरा ना इन्हें ने पॉडी वेरा ना x n plus one is x n plus two the square root of it. Now let's take for example n equal one. So we want to see the pattern now. Pattern by the balance number is known. Value of the balance known. So let's say n equal one. Obviously it says x one equal one. Therefore we don't have to calculate right? because it has given you that x n uh, x one is one. Right. So therefore we don't have to use this one. Right. Now let's say n equal two. Because we converge and the key balance known. Apply another one then. इन आनंद ये जाती मेरे को बुद्धि निकला बाला ना ये एन मेरे को मेरे को वैल्यू एक आते ना तब मेरे को वैल्यू वाला लांग है ना एक वैल्यू वाला मेरे को एक एन एन लोकुए ना आते डाइवर्ज है एन एन फोर्टी ना आते डाइवर्ज है ओसिलेट ना आते डाइवर्ज है वैल्यू वाला लांग है ना आते मेहमारी मेहमारी � Uh, now n equal to now n equal to uh, what is the value uh, x2 equal right one when n equal sorry when n equal 1 x1 when sorry x1 is given therefore we don't use this one because x1 is given now n equal uh, one we put it into this formula that means 1 plus 1 is x2 which is equal to x1 plus 2 Square root of it, right? X one plus two square root of it. Uh, that is how you got the X two, right? We know that X one is one, 
right x1 is 1 therefore this is 1 plus 2 which is root 3 root 3 right and we know that roughly root 3 is something like 1.73 something that you have to remember actually root 2 root 3 are common and all that again in order now let's see n equal 3 n equal 3 uh, then x3 you can calculate because we are going to use sorry uh, this is n equal 1 for this one this is n equal 2 for this one now we have to keep using this one then n equal to 2 plus 1 is x3 that is uh, x2 plus 2 square root of it that right? x2 is we know that 1.73 something that is 1.73 plus 2 that is uh, 3.73 something Actually, this question is somewhat unfair, right? Uh, actually, you need a calculator to do this question, right? Do the question. Uh, then again, you know, say 3.73 and that term, three to shoot up, ready, 1.73 to put up, ready, you know. Right? Your calculator, that term, that term, my question is doing the unfair over that. Hurry, now we make our proceed the sequence, I can't tell you, dear, 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 So, the government take me a period of decision and got the Antangon A level. Take her and I to trap a calculator. Then, okay, a piece called Yana Kale, Vendra Tolula, A level kernel amount of calculators. Then, I out of this theater. With Tama Lanka, I mean, calculator then, eh? I in a calculator in the mobile Ganaku Right, so three point seven three seven three zero uh, something right uh, it's root x to the power y 0.5 it's again 1.93 something you can see that uh, it is getting closer to 2 right it is get, getting closer to 2 1.93 something uh, 1.93 something then we have to say x, x n equal 3 then you will get x4 which is x3 plus 2 square root but then i number okay what if any n n number then ಕೆಲಸಮಾತಾಯಿತು Otherwise, you don't know what is exactly 3.73 square root. Right? Of course, this you can remember, but you can't calculate these things without a calculator, right? Okay, so the answer is, it's an unfair question, but the answer is uh, D. Okay, so that's it for the 2019 uh, two questions. Usually, you have about four or five questions, but and that year, they have given you only one question from sequence. Right, so let's move on to the 2000, uh, 18 paper, some sequence questions. Right, so this is a question. Uh, consider the sequence xn equal 2n divided by n plus 1, where n is a natural number. Number is a natural number. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, then up can and zero term, you know what, minus one term, okay. So, all these terms are natural numbers. Uh, these values can be real numbers, right? Values can be real numbers, right? So, which of the following is true? Now, again, what you have to see, they, they are asking whether it's a decreasing sequence, right? Non oscillatory sequence, bounded sequence, right? Values real, right? So, let's say. When n is a natural number means you can't have 0, you have to start with 1. numbers can So then x1 is 1 into 2 is 2, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 1. Now let's see x2. 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 2 is 4. 
divided by 2 plus 1 is 3. Now again x3, 3 into 2 is 6 divided by 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's take another one, x4, but it's not a problem, it's not a problem. 4 into 2 is 8 divided by 4 plus 1 is 5. Right? Another one, x5, with rata ba and ben, eta. 5 into 2 is 10, divided by 5 plus 1 is 6. Ata yung abhi nombre tiki diya gaam, koi nari. 1 or 2 over 2, 4 over 3, 6 over 6 over 4, 8 over 5, 10 over 6. Then, I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you. Question is interesting. 8 over 5. I will tell you, I will tell you. Can you see a tower take up on a little bit? X6. 6 into 2 is 12. 6 plus 1 is 7. 12 divided by 7. Good again. Keep on increasing now, increasing. Keep on decreasing now, decreasing. Right? It was about limit to know the area. Sunk out. But on the interesting question now. So this is something like 1. Nah? This is 1 and 1 third. What is this? 1 and 1 over. This is 1 and 1 third. Right? This is 1 and 2 divided by 4. Right? 1 and 2 divided by 4. What is this? 1 and 3 divided by 5. This is 1 and 3 divided by 5. This is 1 and 4 divided by 6. This is 1 and 5 divided by 7. Now, what are you doing? 1 and 1 divided by 3. 1 and 2 divided by 4. 1 and 3 divided by 5. 1 and 4 divided by 6. 1 and 5 divided by 7. Then, what is the clear? Then, what is the clear? Then, what is the clear? So, what is the next one? Then, what is the next one? Next one is going to be 1 and what happened? 1 and 2 and 3 and 3 and 6 divided by 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and 1 and 3 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 you can see this is bigger than this this is bigger than this. 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 That means this is this is what increasing obviously. So this is keep on increasing. So this is an increasing sequence. Actually, this is strictly increasing, right? Incre uh, monotonic increase in sequence, right? Monotonic increasing uh, sequence. Right? So this is monotonic increasing. Right. Keep on increasing. Samana in it. Actually, this is strictly monotonic increasing. Strictly monotonic increasing sequence. Right. In a balanon monotonic increasing, increasing, strictly monotonic increasing, those are going to be part of your answer. Then, is it going to be uh, reach into a value? What if you make a kai to name a kai? A kai, hatter in the kai, kai pahen to name a kai. May value at a kad langa. May I kad langa. May I add ready? May I kad langa. May I add ready? May I add ready? May I add ready? May I add ready? May I Ekat alang ni na sangka apa tu? Wedi win. So ekat ekat, ni ekat kalau ni alang win ni, ni sangka ekat alang win ni. So ekat ekat ni dikalang boleh ni, ekat win. Ekat ni sangka win ni boleh ni, ekat alang win. So this is closer to one than this. Of course, this is special case. This is one anyway. But this is more closer to one than this. This is more closer to one than this. This is more closer to one than this. Something like this. Okay, terus patangkan tu minimum ekat patangkan no. It was adu win no. It was ni ni boleh ni, ni ni ekat alang win, ni ni ekat alang win. So that means this is bounded. Above, this is bounded above, so it's a strictly monotonic increasing. That not you can you can say strictly monotonic increasing. Me thena very good. Oh, oh. Atter mone ek ek ayi villa me thena te gila me ayi me me hardu e me ayi me hardu e villa. 
ंगलेटरीफ्स It is non-oscillatory, right? It is non-oscillatory, and it is increasing and bounded sequence. It is getting increased, and it is going to bounded to one. It is going closer and closer to the one, right? Getting closer and closer to the one, and therefore it is bounded by one, and it is increasing, but no, never going to cross that. Never going to cross that. So that is the answer A and E, right? A and E. So we can see it's a very challenging question, but those are really, really interesting questions, right? Wow, make a bell word pass. Are you agree? मैं कुछ चर दिवाल वाला गोल्डी प्रोसेस है ना उन्हें वाट पैटर्न पे है ना उनमें एक संख्या वाला लांगे ना क्या निम्न का दिखे रहते हैं ना उन्हें अरे वो कुम्भी एक टेन ना उन्हें मैं क्वेश्चन या करान राइट सो दिस क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चंस ओके राइट आई होप यू गोट इट अगेन लुक इलाक करने का कारण सुलगर कर रहा है ना दी सा ये वाले प्रोसेस के निम्न दुआ नहीं आएंगे मेमोरी दुआ नहीं आता है आरा उन्नोंग्रे माता का दे मेन उन्नोंग्रे तेरे माता का दे मेमा इस दुआ ने प्रोसेस है जो देखो बाल में एक्साम है क्या राइट सो दैट इस सो लेट्स लुक एट अनदर क्वेश्चन नाइन नाइन क्वेश्चन सो and of course the calculus right matrices boring topics for me right so look, look at this because you don't have to think right and when you are doing matrices you don't have to think much right so what about this consider the sequence y n given by this then the sequence y 2 n minus 1 right so you have to find y 2 n minus 1 Now you have to family with that a1, a2, a3. So a1 means first term, a2 means second term, a3 means third term, a4 means fourth term. So now let's write it like that. Right. So this is I'm again writing this four, five, three and half, six, three and one third, seven, three and one fourth, eight. Right, so this is my uh, y one, y two. Yeah, I quite got to write it down. Y three, y four, y five. This will take some 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 time. Yes, y six, y seven, and y eight. Okay. What they need is y two n minus one. Right? Can you see a pattern now? What pattern is happening now? What is happening? Five to pass se pattern. Because the other one no na. Ma, ma, ekam ek common question karan. Kya? Maybe na tisora questions karan hai chance karan hai. So you can see five. Then six is there. Pattern is going out. Come on, na six, seven, eight. Ilan dana maker ne bhi ilagay ko baad nine. Mitra na pattern aati hai na. Tu na ham aa raha hai. तुनाई तुने का है तुनाई हतरे का है आइना आप इतना इलाके देखने वाले तुनाई पाहेंगे का है तुनाई बागे का है तुनाई तुने का है तुनाई हतरे का है ना मेरे पास इलाके वाले तुनाई पाहेंगे का तो इलाके देखने वाले पाहा हाया हाता आटे इलाके देखने वाले नामे इलाके देखने वाले नामे अन्य हमा� Uh, increase in the maker. So, hatra da vada paha lokui. Paha da vada tuna hamar body. Tuna hamar da vada hai mukade. Tuna hamar da vada hai lokui. Hari hai da vada tuna hamar body. Hari maker eha da na meha da na. Hari thondar da vada question ne kya hara di ne me y n ne me. Question ne kya hara di ne vada y two n minus. Onna ne vada attention di na vada. Hari kya hara di y n ka na ne me apne y n ka ne vada ne ya. आहन में क्या था? Y n 2 n minus 1 sequence है क्या ना यहाँ? इन्हें आप इधर Y में आप इधर बोला ना Y n sequence है। So let's look at the Y 2 n minus 1 sequence। 
So how to find y two n minus one? You had to put n equal one two three for this one now because this is y n, right? So let's look at the y two n minus one. What happens when n equal one? When n equal one, n one into two is two. Two minus one is one. So the first term is this one. First term is this one. Then n equal two. And when n equal to two into two is four, four minus one is three. So that now the second term is this one. What is third term? n equal three. Three into two is six. Six minus one is five. Uh, y five is this one. Right. So then four, four into two is eight. Eight minus one is seven. And that is this one. Now you can see uh, this is y n sequence. Now we had write down y two n minus one sequence. Y two n minus one sequence has uh, four. Three and half, three and one th third, three and one fourth, and we know that the next one is going to be three and one fifth, etc. Right? If you want to write it, I can write this four as what? Pattern number one. Four more than four. Four I then do, yeah. Four more than four. Come on. Three and one over one. Okay, that's me. One over three, one over two, one over one. एम का तो थर्ड है, तू नहीं, ओ थर्ड नहीं, थ्री थ्री मतलब मैं तीन, आने में तो मैंने फोर्थ है, फोर्थ ही मैंने ना, फोर्थ आउट, फोर्थ क्यों नाम को देंगे, वन थर्ड वन 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 थ्री एंड वन वन इस थ्री so that is that is issue that is an issue why because i don't see a pattern now uh, i so i thought it is 3 and 1 or what i don't know whether the examiner has made a mistake now you don't have now you have pattern from here but you don't have pattern here but don't don't worry right so if you have a pattern from there that is also fine eventually right so forget about this though it is not part of the pattern uh, but here you have pattern now now let's see the answer This is three and half, three and quarter, three and one third, three and one fourth. मुको देने, लोकवीन आता, कोडवीन आता, ये हर मेरे पैदे नाम। बाढ़ दिया तूना हम आरा टवड़ा तूना ही तूने क्या? आडूई, तूने हाथरे क्या? ईट आडूई, आई तूना कोई हाथरे नहीं हैगुई देन्ती, तूना कोई पाहेंग हैगुई, तूना कोई दाहेंग हैगुई, तूना कोई सीएंग हैगुई तूने कोई ताऊ तूने नहीं कोई तूने कोई ताऊ काल कोई तूने कोई ताऊ इन्ने ना डुए ना सो दैट मींस दिस इज़ डिक्रीसिंग दिस इज़ डिक्रीसिंग राइट ओ मे बी इवेंचुअली डिक्रीसिंग बट एनीवे इट्स डिक्रीसिंग सो देयरफॉर डिक्रीसिंग मस्ट बी पार्ट ऑफ़ द आंसर इस इट कन्वर्जेंट ने कन्वर्जेंट उधर � तूने पहेंग क्या करेगा ना इरोज़ पहेंग का दाहेंग का लाख शिंग का बागी क्या हम संख्या का डाना तेज़ क्या नहीं है तो संख्या का डाना तेज़ क्या है बिंदु आए है भाई मैं बैठी करना आने में तूनाई खाल आए या तूनाई खाल आए तो तोरे तूनाई लाख शिंग का है तूनाई लाख शिंग का है क्या नहीं था अरे पितरों तूने कोई ताऊ बाई हुई थी ना तूने कोई तूने नहीं हुई थी ना तूने कोई हाथरे नहीं हुई थी ना तूने कोई पहेंगे नहीं तूने कोई दाहेंगे का है तूने कोई लक्ष्य नहीं का है एक एन में इन्ने लांगे नहीं किया था इन्ने लांगे ने तूने टा इन्ने लांगे ना तूने टा अरे अरे इन्ने लांगे ना तूने टा है भाई इन्ने आडू है ना तूना हमारा तीव्र है तूना है तूने का तीव्र तूना है काला तीव्र आंतिम दिन तूना है आंतिम दिन तीन तूना है क्या नंबर इन्ने ना आडू है ना इन्ने ना तूने लांगे ना इन्ने ना तूने लांगे ना अरे एक एंड decreasing and converge to three right decreasing and converge to three so this answer is wrong actually all right right so what they have mentioned is decreasing and converge to four but the answer should be decreasing and converge to three so there's mistake in the answers uh, in the ucsc answer so the answer should be decrease and it converge to three but pena n n tunal langa na kiyanne anithe kondara mata kiyanne me sequence ekak diyanne me balanne y 2n minus 1 sequence ekak thiyenne me me pe me eka hari एक दिन है मेक 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 टीवी तरह राइट तो डेट इस वेरी गुड इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन राइट सो इट इस गेटिंग क्लोज एंड क्लोज टू थ्री राइट एंड ऑफ कोर्स इट इस डिक्रीजिंग इट इस डिक्रीजिंग बट इट्स नेवर गोइंग टू क्रॉस थ्री 
it is never going to cross 3 it is getting less and cross and cross with 3 okay so i hope you got it if not again think about this ari question karan hari sewenne ba ay kalpana karan mokadde me decreasing kiyan mokadde me bounded above kiyan mokadde lang wenawa kiyan hari ekka tanakata lang wenawa kiyan eka hari oscillate wenawa kiyanne mokadde anne concept ekak oluwada dama prashne questions karagan pulawa hari right so let's look at the this one so this is pretty much like the previous year question right and previous year question ekak wage ema eka ඔයාලට කියනවා මෙහෙම දීලා වගේ ගහන x11 නම් ඔයාලගේ ගහන මේ කියන්නේ මොකද අහන කෑ අර වගේම දාලා බලන්න නේද දැන් ඔයාලට pattern එක හවුනාට පස්සේ question කරන්න බලන්න එකතයි match කරද්දී ඔයා concept එක තේරුම් ගන්න ඕන logical thinking තියෙන්න ඕන questions ටිකක් කරලා තියෙනවා මොකද ඒක වගේ questions තමයි ඔයාලට හම්බ වෙන්නේ හරි සමහර ඔක්කොම කරනවා questions ටිකක් කරලා යන්න හරි වට පේන අර අර උද්දේ paper එකේ තියෙන question එක මම repeat කරලා දිනක වෙන්න ඕන මොකද right so they say that x1 is 1 then we have to because we have to see the pattern right uh, now let's put one to here that is x1 plus 1 x2 equal uh, one to here x1 plus 2 its root now again you can see root 3 actually same question our question එකම තමයි නේදී our question එකම තමයි right so it's converging uh, and it's increasing in sequence and it will be keep on reaching to I think it is going to keep on reaching to one or something, right? Uh, one or two, I can't remember, right? So same question, right? Same question they have mentioned, right? So I don't think they got enough to talk about it. I don't pattern any pain, right? So let's take another question. Question ten, right? So I think that's all. Ah, uh, here. Ah, uh, so this is series question. So series question still we haven't done. Right. So that's all. See, अभी sequence question से इतना बाल मो। अभी series अभी इन्हें दास करूँ मो। Forty session निकाल कर रहा। So let's see whether there are any sequence questions. Actually, now you should be able to do the questions. Right. Is there any sequence questions? This is series question. This is series question. This is series question. I told this is a series question. We have one sequence question. That is this, right? So this is sequence, right? So they say that u not equal one, u one equal two, u n plus one is given like this. You are asked to find u four. That is very simple question, right? It, right? So you know that uh, u not equal one, u one. Equal to, and for the rest of the stuff we have to use this. Now let's put something like n equal one here, right? N equal one here. That what we get? U three one plus one is two. U two is uh, u one squared minus one minus one is zero. U zero squared. Now we know that u one is two. That is two squared, which is four. Minus u zero is one, one squared is one, four minus one is three. Now you we found u two, right? U two. But we need this u four. We have to gradually move on. Now let's put n equal two here. That is u two plus one is three equal. Now we are putting n equal two. U two squared minus two uh, minus one is one. U one squared. Now we know the u two. That is three. Three squared is nine. Minus u1 is given 2. 2 minus 2 squared is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. Now we have found u3. So the next step we are going to find u4. Let's put n equal 3 here. 3 plus 1 is 4. Uh, u4 equal. Now you know how the pattern. Uh, u3 squared minus u2 squared. So u3 we have found as 5. 5 squared is 25. Minus u2 we have found as 3. 3 squared is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. So answer is B. Right? Eighth answer is B. Right? Okay. So we did uh, the sequence questions uh, for that. Let's see whether we have sequence question in that. So only sequence question is that one in that paper. Let's take the final paper also. Then we can stop the class.
so series uh, we can quickly do very short session right because now the all the theory is done right so this is uh, this same thing same question we are the ekadala balanna dekadala tunadala because of pattern ekak wenne pattern ekak ahuna gaman wada x100 kiyanna pula ya wada wada 100 ekak yanna wenne naya mai karanna ko say now they have given that uh, x1 equal x1 equal the word methane the may out the other question mama ne kare past paper seen out of the high with the rapid side to get right download karagan na okko mcq to karan ekak kare amaru karan bari wadhi 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 Say n equal one, n equal one. Of course, we get x one equal two. That is fine. Good. Now let's say n equal two. Now I am going to use this one. I am going to use this one. That means x. Now no, sorry. I am going to put, uh, use n equal one here now. That is x one plus x two equal one. We have the x one from there. Therefore, x two equal 1 minus x1, x1 is 2, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So that means x2 equal minus 1. Right? Now let's put n equal 2 here. That is x2 plus x3 equal 1. We have found x2, x2 is minus 1, minus 1 when you take there, minus 1 plus 1 is 2. Now again x3 is 2. Right, x3 equal 2. Right, 2 minus 1, 2. Now let's say n equal 4. n equal 4 means x4 plus, sorry, n equal 3. Uh, x3 plus x4 equal 1. Right, so why you need x4? We know that x3 is 2, uh, therefore 1 minus 2 is what? Minus 1. So x4 is minus 1. Now you can see 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1. Right, 2 minus 1 is going to have 2 minus 1 likewise. Now you can see when it is odd, 2. When it is even, minus 1. Right? When it is odd, 2. When it is even, minus 1. Okay, if you want, you can just double check for x5 and x6 also, then you will see the pattern. What they ask is x100. x100, we know that 100 is even. For even values, right? for even values, it is minus 1. Therefore, x100 is going to be what? Minus 1. Right? So that is all about finding patterns. These questions are very interesting. Only thing is, have those concepts in your mind, look for the pattern, right? So it will increase your processing power as well, right? Right. Right. So these questions I keep you to do, right? 10th question you can do, 11th question you can do, right? Both are sequences. So do those things, right? If you have any questions, let me know. So the next time we are going to do, uh, we are going to do the series and calculus together because series we don't need two hour session right series uh, we need only about uh, one hour so next time we are, what we are going to do is series and uh, limits that is part one of the calculus we are not going to do differentiation the first part of the calculus and series in the next session okay so we stop at this point right so if you have any questions put it into the whatsapp chat okay right thank you